Hello. Hi everybody, how you doing? Uh, happy Monday, it's the most beautiful sunny day here. We got, well, not there's not a cloud to be seen. It's absolutely gorgeous out there again, so mm -hmm. let's hope we're free for another few days of some gorgeous weather. So, how are you all? I missed you over the weekend. How you been? Everybody okay? Been really busy actually, I was supposed to have, supposed to have a quiet few days. It didn't really happen, I tried to cram in way too much, but uh, yeah, it was, uh, it's nice to, it was nice to have a break, but I'm glad to be back now. So, he's coming online, he's there. Yeah, we got Heather, we got Jenny. Hi everyone, hi Linda. Heather, hi Jenny, hi Linda. Uh, Sean's here as well. Hi Sean. So cool. Lots of people coming online, which is fabulous. Um, so we're going to do a block today. We're going to do this um, cross stitch lattice block, um, which I'll go into in a minute. But we've got our charity announcement to do first. So um, Sean sort of pulled together all the all the details and everything. So uh, I'm going to go through go through what we're going to be doing. Um, but we're there'll be more like details we'll put onto our Facebook page and everything. Um, uh, later on hopefully either today or tomorrow okay so you'll have like all the, the full details and everything so um, <laughs> uh, I very stupidly um, thought this was a really good idea and uh, and it is it's gonna be amazing it's gonna be really cool but um, yeah we've roped Sarah and Sean so we're gonna be doing it as a team um, so um, we are going to be walking the equivalent of um, Land's End to John O'Groats in fabric meters okay so that is 1.3 million meters of fabric. If you stretched it all out, if you rolled all the bolts out, we've done the maths, <laughs> rolled all the bolts out and um, stretched fabric from Land's End to John O'Groats, it would be 1.3 million meters. That's what we're going to walk. Obviously we're not gonna walk the actual you know, route because we can't, <laughs> because of, you know, lockdown and all the rest of it and you know we're trying to run a shop so but we are going to walk the equivalent of those meters we are going to be uh, counting our steps each day and we're going to be doing it the three of us between us um and we want you guys to sponsor us please um so <laughs> As we're, going, as we're doing it as well, I'll go through to all the details, as we do it as well, each at the end of each week, we're going to do a little update of where we are in the country. So Sean's found this really cool map. So if it, after the first week we've done, I know, 25,000 metres, which, you know, it's not very much actually, it's going to need to be more than that for us to do it in the in the 90 days. Sorry, I'd like to say that. It's going to start on the 1st of July and um, we've got 90 days to do it in. Okay, so this was originally a challenge set by um, Diabetes UK, which um, there's two challenges they're running um, in conjunct, you know, the same date, July the 1st for 90 days. You could either sign up for uh, a million steps or the Land's End to John O'Groats one. We've signed up for the Land's End to John O'Groats one, which we are going to do between the three of us. Okay, we're going to do it as a team. So we've broken that down and I think it's six and a half thousand steps a day each. So it's not, you know, we should be hitting 10,000 anyway, shouldn't we? not that most of us do, but they reckon 10,000 a day. So um, we've got to do, yeah, six and a half thousand each every day for 90 days to complete the challenge. Uh, because it's Diabetes UK challenge, we are going to keep one them as one of the charities. And we're going to pick two more. I've got them all. I've cut them all up, and they're all in here. There's 40 in total, so there's 40 little charities in there. They were all the ones that you donate, that you nominated. So we're going to pick two others out of those. Okay. So um, Diabetes UK. We felt it was only fair because it was their challenge for to keep them as one. Um, you know, otherwise, it'd be like doing a red nose challenge and not giving to comic relief, wouldn't it? So we're going to keep Diabetes UK as one of them. And then the other two um, we'll pick from the hat in a moment, okay? Um, we are going to ask you guys to sponsor us. Um, obviously, for charity, we're going to ask you to sponsor us. Um, and we're going to ask you to sponsor us a penny a metre of fabric. So if you wanted to sponsor us for 2,000 metres of fabric, that would be 20 quid. If you want to sponsor us for... 500 meters that would be a fiver you could sponsor us for one meter if you want whatever whatever you like you could sponsor sponsor us more sponsor us less but what we're going to do it as a penny per meter so um obviously you would just say all right we're going to sponsor you five pound or ten pound or twenty pound or whatever it is you want to 
um, and that would be the equivalent of the, the meat fabric meters. Hopefully this is all making sense at the moment. <laughs> um, at the end of each week, we will give you a little update on the map of where we've got to, virtually we've got to, and then we're going to highlight and spotlight some small businesses, um, you know, fabric stores, quilt shows, um, any guilds or anything, you know, things that were in that area. So if the end of the first week we've got to Penzance, say, from, from Land's End up to Penzance, um, we would then spotlight and we'll tag them on social media. What we're trying to do is kind of um, make people aware of the small businesses that are out there. Everyone's struggling a little bit at the moment. And as well as raising some money for charity, we thought it'd be a nice way of on our social media for you guys as well to see what's out there. So if when we when we are allowed to travel properly again, <laughs> you know, if you're in that area, you'll be able to see what's what's about. So hopefully that will make sense. There will be a Just Give In page set up um for the three charities which hopefully that will be done later on today if not first thing in the morning and we will pop that on on our web on our web page okay so you can sponsor us through jeff's giving um that way it's um you can we can do gift aid and stuff like that as well then with with just giving so obviously the charities get a little bit more um it's going to be a huge challenge particularly for me and sarah not necessarily for sean because sean walks a lot uh, but for me and Sarah, it's going it's to massively up our, our step count, um, hopefully get us a bit fitter. Um, and it's a, a bit of a challenge. Keep us on track for the for the 90 days. We might finish it before the 90 days, but we've got 90 days to do it. We might get to like day 88 and think, right, OK, we're going to have to walk around Diddis 40 times <laughs> to make up the steps. So that's what we're going to be doing. OK, we're hoping as well to get some... Um, companies involved as well we're going to be sending out the details in the next couple of days to some different fabric companies and you know we'll, we might do things like um, raffles and stuff anybody's donated we'll go go into a prize draw at the end of that week mm -hmm. to win a certain amount you know fabric and stuff or a kit or a pattern or something so thank you so much for all your charity nominations um anybody there what's there everybody on coming online uh, yeah so Heather so sounds brilliant uh good luck Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> it's uh, gonna be a challenge. Sean says I'll pick up your slack. Thanks, Sean. <laughs> Sarah says don't give him ideas. It'll be amazing to see how much I need to move now. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, Suzanne says hi. Hi, so Linda Thomason. Cool. Cool. So, um, so yeah, we're gonna. Yeah, you know, I mean, the Diabetes UK did it originally in stepped form. Um, and it's 1.8 million steps but we thought let's tie it back to fabric so we've worked out what it is in fabric meters the distance that you know in meters that we've got to do so you can imagine 1.8 1.3 million uh, me meters 1.3 million meters it is of fabric laid end to end up the country um so yeah it's gonna it's gonna be a bit different so uh so yeah it's um we just thought you know why not? Let's give it a go. Let's challenge ourselves, see what happens. So, and raise some money for some good causes as well. So, there were 40 nominated charities, okay? I've put them all into this little hat, like I was saying earlier. Put them all into the little hat for you. Um, and one of them will be Diabetes UK because it's their charity. So, we're going to pick two others. So, I'm going to ask Drew to pop his hand in there and pick one out to start with. So, the got one? Yeah, I think that's one. Yeah, so we've got the first charity will be... The Tortoise Sanctuary in Sully, they will be one of our charities. And they do some amazing work. They really do. They're fabulous. Okay. And Drew, wiggle around, grab another one. Okay. Got one? There you go. Okay. And the other one will be <laughs> Hope Rescue. I don't know what Hope Rescue is. Hopefully whoever nominated Hope Rescue will um, will give us a shout and let us know what that one is. Um, I'll look it up. I'll look it up. But that will be our other two charities. OK, so it'll be Diabetes UK, the Tortoise Sanctuary in Sully and Hope Rescue. OK. Um, yes, thank you so much for everybody who nominated. Like I said, we had 40, so we couldn't do it for all 40. They, they might get a couple of quid each otherwise. <laughs> but um, but those are the two that have come out the hat. All right. So we will I'll put those aside, actually. In fact, actually, I'm just going to pop those over there so I don't lose them. Mind you, I could watch the video back, couldn't I? Um, but thank you so much. Um, you will be able to donate, like I said, and you can decide which, which one you want your pennies to go to. But there'll be more details coming soon. So wish us all luck, girls and guys, because uh, it is going to be a hell of a challenge for us. It really is. Well, particularly me and Sarah. Maybe not so much for Sean. She walks a ridiculous amount. 
and she actually enjoys walking so it's because she doesn't drive i think <laughs> so my dog's gonna get a lot of extra walks that's for sure so um so yeah thank you that's gonna be all well like i said we'll put more details out soon for that okay um right on to a bit of sewing we are going to um do this block today which is the cro what i'm calling the cross stitch lattice block okay um and that's because we've kind of got these these lovely lines going through it and you've got cross stuff going on here it's based on a really traditional block called hens and chickens um which actually has a lot more little pieces in it um i've kind of i drew it out the hens and chickens one and then played with some of the colors and played with the placement and stuff to kind of make it our own so rather than it just being a, a direct copy of the hens and chickens um so yeah so i played around with the placements of it so i'm gonna go through what you need right you will need it's all quite little pieces i'm afraid uh, ladies and gents <laughs> you're gonna need 16 two inch background squares okay so you've got 16 two inch background squares you're then going to need eight two inch squares in one color and then eight two inch squares in another color okay you're then going to need eight two inch by three and a half inch rectangles in a third color and then you're going to need four two inch by six and a half inch rectangles in a fourth color I mean, it's a fifth then it's not it's fourth isn't it <laughs> fourth color okay this one i thought was quite a nice one for you know again using up those bits that you're going to have left over from all the other blocks um you should be able to like cut you know fussy not not fussy cut but you know, cut out of scraps and stuff for this because they are only little blocks okay so first thing we're going to do is we're going to take four of our fabric ones like this and four of our fabric twos like that okay and then we need some background squares so I'm going to need eight in total so one two three four ooh, can't get it five six seven eight and we're going to take these over to the sewing machine and we're going to make some little four patches okay so nice easy little start to this nice sort of four patches so my back is ridiculously bad again i think I probably did too much yesterday it's, so it's not good i'm afraid so i'm gonna I've gotta be really gentle going between the two so how is everybody how's everybody doing any comments there drew who's uh who's okay. there susan says she's really pleased that the tortoise century was chosen oh cool cool yeah like i said luck of the draw love out of the um uh hat but my mum will be really pleased about that as well she's a uh, she's got two tortoises she loves her tortoises Sharon <laughs> uh, says hope rescue is an animal sanctuary in Ponticlean Ponticlean oh lovely um, oh I think they're the ones that help rehome um, puppy farm Indeed. dogs and stuff you know puppy farms where they've you know where they've been you know breeding dogs and stuff I'm sure that might be she that. put rescue in stray and abandoned animal oh bless Oh, so we had two animally ones but like i said out of the luck of the draw for the draw so what i'm doing is i'm just going to put these right sides together okay like this i'm going to quarter inch seam all the way down i'm just going to chain piece them all right anybody else there okay said you were supposed to be chilling <laughs> yes i was supposed to be chilling didn't happen it didn't happen <laughs> oh yeah we just had so we've just got so much to do. We've got a chander coming up and uh, lots of samples to be made for that. And lots and lots of work. Lots of getting this these ready, the one o'clock for this week and all sorts. So just chain pieced my four of fabric A and I'm gonna do exactly the same with fabric B. I'm gonna put them right sides together, like that. And we're gonna make some little four patches. This, all the elements of this block are very easy they're all really nice and simple and actually you know there's no flying geese there's no diagonals nothing on these so um, they are all nice and nice and easy little blocks okay there you go so just again just chain piece this little lot it's just how it goes together there are lots of little pieces but it's just how it goes together 
so how were all your weekends? How, what did you get up to? It has been a nice few days. I know we had a little bit of rain, didn't we? Was it Friday it was rainy? It's quite rainy Friday. Uh, yesterday it was quite nice here. Yeah. Saturday was when it rained. Mm, it was a Saturday, was it? So, yeah, no, it was a... There we go, so I've done those ones. Okay, we'll just snip these apart and then we're going to iron them and pop them together. Nice, easy little units to start with. Okay, here we go. So, I'm going to slide this way and we're going to iron towards the coloured fabric on, on all of them. Okay, so we're going to press that seam and iron towards the coloured fabric and roll back and again these are nice little little pieces so be careful all right when you're pressing them don't you know not so, not lots of vigorous pressing we did starch it all before i cut it so there we go like that and then we're going to do the same with these ones so talk to me ladies what have you been up to did you watch sarah at the uh, sarah do her um, pineapple blocks, they were funky, weren't they? I really like that block. I remember doing one years ago, but it was, um, I did a foundation piece in. Did uh, I think, in fact, I think I've got the quilt top still done somewhere. I haven't quilted it yet. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Linda Tomlinson says she's really pleased as well that the uh, tortoise sanctuary was Cool. Uh, Kate said I finished my buzzsaw cushion worked in the garden yesterday. Ah, lovely. Fabulous. That's cool. Pictures, please. Come on. I always like pictures. Right, so we're then with these, we're just going to should have four that look like this, and we're just going to turn them, one of them like that, and make a little four patch. Okay, and we're going to nest that centre bit. So you should end up with two like that, and then turn it and make two like this. Okay, like that. All right, so I'm going to take this back to the machine carefully. <laughs> uh, I am such a crock. There we go. What's everyone else been up to? Any, been, anything exciting? What have you been doing? Grab some scissors for a second. We've got Beth watching now. Hi, Beth. She's probably going to be happy that the tortoise sanctuary has been chosen. <laughs> oh, do you like tortoises, Beth? And My mum's obsessed animals. with them. She absolutely loves tortoises and turtles and all that sort of thing. She's got two, Fred and Ted. They, uh, they're noisy. They're really noisy. They don't have, and they're faster than you think tortoises. They really are. They're quite speedy when they want to. You know, we talk about tortoises being slow, but they're really quite speedy when they want to be. <laughs> there we go. So let's do that one. And this is nice, easy little start. Like that. Okay. Any other comments there? He's chat he's chattering away today. No one today. No? Everyone's quiet. Everyone's quiet. Are you all just concentrating watching me or uh, no nobody wants to talk to me today? <laughs> Here we go. Um, so there's my little four patches done. Okay. And again, do you remember that little trick that we've done before? Which, if I just grab, hang on, let me just move the iron out of the way. So um, if I grab a pin, do you remember that little trick that we've done before where you just take those couple of little stitches out? So these little stitches here, I just pop those out just by with the pin like that. Linda says I have a tortoise called Fred. You do, don't you? You hibernate yours, don't you, Lind? But uh, my mum doesn't. Hers are in a, like a, you know, a... Oh, what have I done there? Pulled the wrong one. <laughs> there we go. Hang on. Um, like a terrarium. They've got like a heat lamp. But uh, I know yours is... Yours is really old as well, isn't it? Your, uh, your tortoise. Okay, so we take those couple little stitches out and it means that we can... Oh, it's not going to play ball today. Why is it not playing ball? What's it caught on? Ah, I've got a little stitch there caught. There we go. Got it. Suzanne said I've finished off my pinky purple quilt. I started six years ago. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, fair play. There we go. So do you remember by taking those couple of little stitches out, you can um, 
iron them out like that so you end up with a little four patch on the back as well and it just gives you a nice neat accurate accurate point Linda says yes he says he's at least 80 years old wow yeah I remember you saying tell me about him now they do have to live a fair old age tortoises don't they like parrots parrots always live a lot longer than you think they're going to as well I think parrots can live to like they're like 60 or something can't they there we go it's just opening that one up and making these little four patches okay, like that there we go last one sorry it's a bit tedious watching me do the ironing isn't it <laughs> there we go okay Sandra said just cut out two squares from last week I'm going to make Louise a Barbie matching dress this week Ah, oh, nice. There we go. So, that's my little four patches done, okay, with my background fabric. So you'll end up with two in the one fabric and two with another, okay? And now you need two. You need another two of the brown ones and you need two of your cream ones or whatever, fabric one and fabric two. And you're going to do exactly the same because you want a little four patch made with these colours with no background squares, okay? no background fabric in. So I'm just going to quickly do that one as well. Uh, Carrie says, apologies for the lateness. I am now making a Liberty apple. Oh, wow. Oh, I loved your apple, Carrie. You have, you've got such a good shape on your apple. You've got it really like apple shaped. Mine ended up being quite, quite sort of ball, you know, round. But I was very impressed with your, uh, your, your apple. You can make a Liberty one now, Lush. Uh, Linda said she finished a waffle stitch yesterday, cover yesterday. Nice. I like the waffle stitch. It's a nice, easy little one to do, isn't it? Okay, there we go. I'm just making sure that I iron them in opposite ways so that when I turn it round, it all fits. There we go. Pop that one in there. Like that. I had some really nice new bedding. I know it's sad, but I'm really excited about it. I had some really, really nice new bedding. So yesterday we stripped all the beds and the new bedding turned the mattress. Nothing very exciting, but busy. <laughs> and uh, I had a proper cleaning day yesterday and then uh, I had to play with some new patterns for uh, for this week. So what we're doing this week, we're gonna, we're obviously doing this today and then um, tomorrow we've got crochet and we're going to make be making some little baskets. You know those lovely little spa baskets that you get when you go for a massage or into a beauty salon? Those lovely little baskets, they always got like the rolled top on them. I'm going to show you how to do some of those tomorrow and how you can adapt them for any size. Okay, so I've also got a little four patch in those colourways. Okay, right, so you're going to put your, your four patches aside for a moment and now we're going to take want four of these which are your two by three and a halves which would be fabric three on your pattern the pattern of course is available on the website um, I've already popped it on there so um, and I'm gonna need eight of these two four six eight in fact I'll cut them right which is good and you're just gonna pop one of these on either side okay so right sides together we're gonna pop them all down one side and then we're gonna put another one the other side okay Again, lots more chain piecing. Not very exciting to watch, I'm afraid. There we go. Uh, let's get this one done. What did we do? What else have I done this weekend? Caught up with lots of work on Friday, which was really nice. Watched Sarah do the pineapple blocks, which uh, I really did like. I do like that block. It's really effective. Who, who's had a go at it? Have any of you had a go at it? Please do say if you have. I know I've seen a, we've seen a couple of samples come through on Facebook. There we go. So all of these then can be snipped apart and we'll put one the other side. And so she made a crochet, uh, crochet fan all over the weekend. Ah, cool. It turned out really well and it's lovely to use. Good, good, good. Oh, yeah, I really like them as um, like flannels rather than just dishcloths. So excuse me. Oh, excuse me, don't know where that one came from. <laughs> so 
So now I'm just putting a square on the other side, okay? So we've already done them on this side. I'm just popping one on the other. Okay. So the block we're going to do on Wednesday is um, from, um, in fact, actually look them up on Facebook. It's called Moda Blockheads. Um, Catherine Lum got me onto it, actually. She uh, she us to have a look at it. So the block that we're going to do on Wednesday, I'm going to do like the little tutorial for it, but the pattern, we won't be selling the pattern because it's not ours, but I'll put the link up for it. It's really pretty block. There's lots and lots and lots and even more um, blocks on there that you can download for free. So it's, um, it's all the Moda designers um they have all sort of designed a load of blocks so they've done it before apparently this is this is called blockheads three so it's just the third time they've done it um but there's hundreds of hundreds of free blocks on there it's a really really nice place and some really unusual blocks as well so it's definitely worth worth checking out it's called yeah moda blockheads on facebook um and we're going to do one of the blocks from there on um on wednesday there we go so um, and then Sarah's, oh, it's just, it's a bit boring. It's all like ironing today. <laughs> um, Sarah's going to do some masks. She's going to take you through face masks on Thursday um, because um, lots and lots of you are making them. Um, but some of you that may not, may not have made them yet um, might help just have a little tutorial on, on how to put them together. So Sarah's going to make some face, do a face mask tutorial on Thursday. And then what are we doing Friday and Saturday? I can't remember for the life of me. Ooh, we're doing on Saturday, we're going to do some foundation piece in um, called Circle of Geese, which is a really nice pattern and makes a beautiful, beautiful block that repeats over and over if you wanted to do a quilt. I can't remember for the life of me what I'm doing on Friday. <laughs> Not very organised, am I? Sean, if you're there, lovely, tell me what I'm doing Friday. Okay, once we've done these little units like this, okay. We're going to put the six and a half inch square. So let me lay these out for you, actually. So we're going to put this on the bottom. OK, so just so you know, if, if you've got directional fabrics, I mean, I haven't. These aren't directional, but you're going to put these on the on the bottom like that. OK, so if this was directional, it is, but I, I don't treat it as directional. We're going to put them on the bottom. OK. It's going to be one of those things, the second somebody tells me what I'm doing Friday, I'll go, oh god yeah, I set the flipping one o'clock so I still can't remember. Sean said Friday's chicken and paper. Ah, the paper, uh, pattern weights or paper weights, yes, 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 yes. Again, yeah, we're going to do some, a way of using up some little scraps and stuff. Um, <coughs> you can do larger versions and make, excuse me, I'm going to grab some water, my throat's really dry today. You can make bigger ones. We're going to do some little ones for pattern weights or paper weights, but you can scale the pattern up very, very easily and make some amazing door stops as well. So, talking of door stops, quite a lot of you have booked onto some of the Zoom classes we've released. Um, if you haven't seen them yet, there's, I think they're all about 50, I think most of them are at least 50% sold out. So, do have a little look. Um, if there's anything there you fancy having a go at. Um, they were released last week, so um, they will be, yeah, grab, grab the space where you can if you want to join us for, for some Zoom classes. Okay, let's pop this one in here. So, lots and lots of chain pieces, lots of um, repeating of the same step with this block. But they're all nice, simple little elements that, when they come together, look look quite complicated. Looks like you've spent hours doing, but you really haven't. So just adding these all onto the bottom. Hmm. <coughs> Sandra said, "I think I need a Drew to sort out this iPad because I can't seem to get anyone's pictures on the visitor post." And then Taryn said, "I can't seem to get anything either." Hmm. We're seeing all your visitor posts. They definitely come up. They don't go onto the main feed, the visitors posts. I think there's a little bit on the left hand side that says posts to page, posts to page. And that'll be anything that you guys have have put on directly for us. What I'll do is um, I'll go through and do a little slideshow of some of the things we've had through the last few weeks. But um, we're definitely seeing them, guys. We're, it's um, 
yeah, I saw Sandra's the other day because you said you couldn't find it. But um, but yeah, they're definitely the, definitely there. <laughs> okay, so maybe we should start a like friends of white gecko page or something which you guys can all join and put all your posts and be able to see them all i'll talk to the girls about that well it might, might be an idea actually um now i'm going to iron this towards the bigger piece of fabric the the darker rectangle okay that one's going on there like that what's a group of geckos called Do you know what's a group of geckos called oh i don't know somebody google it for us quick what's a what, what do you call a group of geckos? Like, is it a parliament of crows? Is it a parliament of crows? And, uh, yeah. What's a group of geckos called? That would be good, wouldn't it? Maybe we, maybe we need to start a little, like, um, social, like a social page like that, where you guys can all show each other your stuff and everything. That might be a good, quite a nice idea, wouldn't it? Right, okay, so now I've got four of those little units made up okay so last little bit and then we can start putting it all together so like i said there's lots of little preppy bits with this one i've lost oh there it is got two of those one of those one of those four of those so you're now going to go back to the little four patch that you made with the fabric one and fabric two the one that's got no background to fabric in and we're going to put one of these two by three and a half inch rectangles either side Okay, we're going to stitch one down either side. I'm going to go back over here and just stitch down. Sean says, isn't it a lounge of geckos? Oh yeah, isn't that why we called it Craft Lounge? It might be. It might be. Uh, Jenny says there is no name as geckos don't live in groups according to Google. Ah. A... No, I think we called it lounge, wasn't it? Because it was lounge lizard. Well, well, we're the craft lounge because we went through down the whole lounge lizardy type thing with the geckos. So, but maybe that's what maybe you can all be our, yeah. You can be we 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 could adopt that a lounge of a lounge of geckos. Quite like that. <laughs> Come up with some suggestions. What would you call a what would you call a group of geckos? What would you what would you all call it? I quite a the things that alliterate, you know, when you're good, you know, like a group of geckos, but groups a bit boring. What could we call it? Come up with some suggestions, guys. <laughs> there we go. So, oh, and I see that uh, stretched because I was being too vigorous with that. There we go. Because they are little pieces. So set that seam and gently roll that back. So we've done that with the, yeah, I've stretched that one. Never mind. I will, I'll get that in. So we've done that on either side. And then the last two pieces that you've got left, you want to put these on. So you've got, you should have two of your fabric one two inch squares left. And you should have two of your fabric three two inch squares left. And we're going to put those on like that. Okay, so you've got them both the same side of this. Okay, so let me do this side first. What would we? What could we call a group of geckos? Maria said a natter. A what? what? A natter. A natter of geckos. Oh, that would be <laughs> a waffle of geckos if it was me. Quite like a natter of geckos. Uh, Carrie says a gang of geckos. A gang of geckos. Yeah. Quite like that too. So yeah. Yeah, Sean. Maybe that's what we need to do. Lovely. Maybe set up a social page so that um, you know. People can see lots of posts rather than them having to try and sort through through all of ours. And I'm gonna pop this one on the other side. I'll video call the girls later and we'll uh, we'll have a little think about that. Just something else for us to do. Stick something else on the uh, to do list. <laughs> there we go. So nearly there with all the prep work. Nearly there. It felt quite fiddly, this block, when I was um, first cutting it all out. It was like, oh, two inch squares, they're going to be really fiddly. But actually, it's it's quite nice. It's quite a nice one. It didn't, they, it comes together quite well. Okay, so. Right, now, if you come back to the little four patch here, okay, that we put those onto, 
we want these you want to take real note of where these are okay because you want them to continue so what I mean by that is I wouldn't put that one here because can you see it's the wrong color so this one's going to go down here like that so we've got that continuation and the same here can you see so again just really think about the placement we don't want it there because you've I've lost my continuation of color so we're going to turn it like that and that's going to sit in there like that okay so I just realized I'm just going to iron those the other way so I can nest this didn't do it the right way here we go okay right so I'm going to pop this one on first just double check again that that's going the right way which it is so that one's going to go on here I'm going to nest that right up together it's quite little now so I'm going to pop a pin in just to keep those those seams down okay and where's that one can't make that one doesn't want to go get in there hmm. hang on I've done something wrong here girls let me just why is that one not wanting to go that's right there there we go Ah, there we go, that's better. Don't know why, didn't like it when I pinned in that one side. There we go, pop that one in like that. And I'm going to stitch down that line. Anyone else got any suggestions there for our geckos? Nicola said guild of geckos. Oh, yeah, that's quite nice. So that's got like sewing connotations as well, hasn't it? I like giggling geckos. Giggling geckos. <laughs> yeah, we do a lot of that, don't we? <laughs> don't know what I'm doing here today. Oh, that's all right. That'll be fine. Be fine. There we go. So I'm just going to press that one out like that. Make sure it's nice and flat. You are dealing with a lot of seams, so mm -hmm. just double check that that one's going the right mm -hmm. way again. There we go. See, that one's gone in perfectly. A funny five minutes. There's that one, and then let's make sure that one's in. Where is it? There it is. Oh, my nesting is my fingers aren't working today, girls. It's uh, all over the place. There we go. Got it. Okie doke. Okay, we're down this one. Like that. There we go. Right. It's time to start putting it all together. Anybody there, lovely? Uh, Sandra said I made a another 40 uh, times 8.5 scrap squares and still have over half a block of scraps left. Oh, wow. Yeah, scraps just seem to... They, I swear they breed in the box. I really do. You think you're doing this you know, amazing scrappy thing and I'm going to get rid of loads and loads and nah, never happens. Okay, so I'm just going to lie all this out for you now. So this is my centrepiece here, okay, like that. And you want each one of these blocks with the navy, the darker fabric, facing inwards. Okay, like that and like that, okay. Can you see that that's now framing around this central block? And it'll end up that these kind of look like they're going underneath this one. And then with the little four patches we made right at the beginning, you want to make sure they go in the right way. So like, I want a continuation of this line here. So I want to make sure that they go in that way, like that. And if you think, look at it, the black ground fabrics are touching each other. And this, you've got this nice continuation going that way, like that. And then exactly the same going this way. So goes down that way Ooh, that way round there we go so I've got the continuation going there so you would now sew this just like you would normally see so this one to this one to this one as a row sew those ones together and then sew those ones together and then you can then sew them obviously once the rows together and make sure you press alternate ways okay and when you've done that your block will look something like that hopefully okay so it is, it is quite, um, it's quite fiddly, I suppose, in the fact that you've got lots of little pieces to put together, but each of the units are very, very simple to put together. Really, really simple. And I think if you started, if you made more of these blocks, um, 
you'd end up with all these lovely secondary patterns happening because all of these lines would continue as were, would all of these as well you could make sort of lovely diamonds a bit like um the irish chain um quilt you know where you've got all the the lines that di go through diagonally that's exactly what would happen with this if you made more blocks of these so this is the cross stitch lattice block like i said it's a variation of hens and chickens um but yeah have a little go have a little play you can play around you really can play around with this you could make mm -hmm. you know these ones here your background fabric and then these your colors you know you could make all you know all sorts of things happen you know it doesn't have to be doesn't have you don't have to have these lines okay you could have all sorts going on with your fabrics they could be alternated you know and stuff so it's a nice it is a nice one to have a play with i would draw it out maybe and then color into the drawing to decide where i want it where you wanted your fabrics um but i quite quite like the fact we've got these big long diagonal lines around you know that are framed that would work and make secondary patterns if you made lots of them so any questions or anything anything uh, uh, in says looks very effective yeah it's a nice little block this one like i said it's a really traditional original the original blocks are really really traditional hens and chickens uh, yeah, sandra so. said can't wait to make this one yeah it's um it's a good one for using all those little bits up you know if you've got lots and lots of little scraps like you were saying sandra these ones here could be all different fabrics you could use two inch squares completely different maybe keep the frames as one color and then make all those little ones um completely different fabrics so yeah that's about it anything else cool no, no? no? fabulous right thank you for joining us um thank you for listening listen to me waffle on as usual um thank you for your charity nominations so we're going with hope rescue and the tortoise sanctuary and diabetes uk okay um please do wish us luck please do sponsor us when it's up and running <laughs> if you can uh, afford to sponsor us that would be amazing and like i said it's going to be a hell of a challenge but we're going to do some we're going to do some like um free prize draws and some stuff along the way for those people who've, who've sponsored us and stuff um we're going to do some highlighting of local businesses and craft things that you can do within the area that we get to each week so we will keep you updated on our big challenge okay um so yeah and uh yeah whatever you like really so um what was i gonna say sponsor yeah sponsor us i, I said half the sentence in my head then sponsor us whatever whatever you can if you'd like to that would be wonderful um cool i don't think and i will be back tomorrow at one o'clock don't think there's anything else to tell you about this block if nobody's got any questions um be back at one tomorrow and we're going to do some crochet baskets so i'm going to show you how to and they're incredibly easy they really really are very very easy but really effective and really useful as well so um, i'm going to show you those tomorrow so uh have a really good monday um go out and enjoy the sunshine go and sit in the garden if you can or go for a little walk because it's beautiful out there really beautiful and uh i will see you all tomorrow guys and girls um stay safe bye everyone <laughs>